how do you do? Uh, just popping in to do kind of a semi makeup tutorial. I'm not good with makeup, that's why I don't like doing these because there's tons of great tutorials out there, be it for you pinups or you vampires, whichever. But if you want to look like a sideshow attraction, then you're watching the right person. So I've already got on foundation um, and brows, which foundation, which I've showed you before, is Bare Minerals in Fair, which honestly is still a tad dark. It's just an everyday thing. I like liquid foundation, but I'm not about to take five hours to do a thorough job. Unless it's like photos or a special occasion, which are rare. And then I just top that off with white powder. I'm very pale, you see. So, white powder works really good for me. Contouring, I'm not big on contouring because I don't know how to do it. I never know what I'm doing. And I feel like that's more like your bronzing as well, um, your highlight, all that jazz. I go for a very pale, deathly look, so it's very white. So, to me, it's just, it's never really worked out that well. I've had from cheapy drugstore brand to Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I just, it doesn't work out for me when I go I'm trying to be a vampire, but so just the the dark on the cheeks is great. And for that, I just use this NYX. It's, it's eyeshadow over the taupe. <laughs> what a bunch of jokesters they are. So we just take a little bit of this on this pink brush. That's nothing fancy because I'm poor. And then we just do that. Y'all know how to do that. This is nothing new or innovative. Just hollow your cheeks. Because again, we're a corpse. So, you know, hollow your face. You're decomposing. Just like Mozart, he's decomposing. <laughs> that was stupid. So then there's that. Again, I don't really do a thorough job. I also don't know what I'm doing right now. I just thought, hey, you've got the clothes, get your hair all done up. You need something on your eyes. Because I went out earlier, which is why my face was already, you know, on. So I didn't have to go out to the village with a bag over my head. I don't have to scare anybody. Uh, do we want to do just the eyeliner look that's all pointy? That's a lot of work. And I'd really have to be up on you to do that because i got to, like, get into the mirror itself to do that. So I'm thinking just some eyeshadow. Just play around. So I do have two palettes here. This is Tarte. Tartiest Pro. The tartiest of the tarts. Sweet tarts. Ooh, I like sweet tarts. Um, got some... Really, the only color I'm interested in is, you guessed it, mauve. <laughs> Black. And then there's Morphe. Jaclyn Hill. I just picked this up on sale one day at Ulta, which, I mean, it's got some really nice colors. You can see I used the purple. We could do purple. No. I really just need black. I do have an extra black here. It's, I don't even know what it is. It's just black. I don't need anything super fancy. It's just anything that screams darkness, that's me. So, we need brushes. Again, they're not fancy. I think I got my brushes off of Amazon. Except these. I can't even read that. Um, a friend of mine... Carolina, the National Luscious Ladies, got that for me. A whole set, not just the one. Here you go. That's gonna be a whole set for our little Christmas soiree. So nice. I really don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna go with black and maybe accent it with a little red. So we're going to. This, I think, is wet and wild. It's just a cheapy, hairs everywhere, black eyeliner pencil because it's just for cleaning things up a bit so I'm actually I'm just gonna use the phone here huh my eyes don't be too frightened 
There's a cat up here now. Twinkie. Twinkie! Oh, she scratched me. Forgot what I was doing for a second. Whoa, I'm really off my game. I told you, I gotta be like up on it. We're just filling in, really. Is this even working? Kind of. This phone has the lens, same kind used on the Hubble Deep Field. You can see my atoms, but not the neutrinos. I don't even know. Yeah, it's not the best, but we're not really focusing on that, so it's not the best, just like me. I am also not the best, so we have that in common. What was I doing? Half the time I don't know where I am. Yeah, we're just going to hit this bad boy with some black. How about that? We're going to get out. Was our test? Whoa, look at that. Okay. Black. It's called punk. They should call it darkness. Goth. Uber goth. I don't know. And then we're just going to pat it on here. Like so. Get a nice base. All about that base. About that base. No treble. And then we're just gonna... I had a lot more on there than I thought I did. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay. Because you'll find there's no such thing as too much black. And we're going to actually go over that with something else. This is just like what I would do in a hurry if I was going somewhere and I didn't feel like doing the extravagant eyeliner. Because the eyeliner look that I think was in one of my last videos uh, where it's going down towards the nose and out, that's actually like my fave look. Now we're going to go with Sparks on this double mirrors. Uh, Morphe palette. Which this stuff little goes a long way, as we just realized. Well, that was the tardiest one. I guess they both go a long way. And then we're just gonna kind of blend. Got way more than I meant to. I can't do anything. Kind of a early 2000s emo look. Not supposed to be perfect, guys. It's just whatever. Yeah, I got way too much black on there. And then we're going to just change up our... Uh, the, the sticks with the, the things on the end of it. Brushes. I'm going to hit underneath. So that's why we're not really focusing on that inner lid, because we're just lash line, whatever, because it's just so it all kind of meshes. Kind of blend it upwards. Really hard to see in a phone because the mirror is on the wall. Y'all have seen it before. If you're on Instagram, you've seen my cool black mirror. Now we're going to go back to red. Probably not even the appropriate brushes for what I'm trying to do, but whatever gets the job done. Now we're going to smear some red down here. Just like with the upper. Some people are much more uniform about what they're doing. I am chaos. But as long as you like the look, then fuck those other guys. Sorry. It was language. It's not ladylike. Alright, so... 
Ooh, now they're both done. Look at that. So it's just something very quick. Just it's horrible lighting. See, I live in darkness, literally. So you're just doing black with some red accent. It's kind of, you know, it's dragged down. Looks not the most uniform, but when you're a corpse, does it really matter? And then we would just want to finish it off with a little bit of lipstick here. Oh, it's liquid. Well, this is the Black Moon Cosmetics Purgatory, which is a current favorite of mine. Um, I love their stuff. I do. The pigmentation is great. It goes on like velvet. I, I just love how it feels, but it doesn't last. It bleeds and it dries. It kind of flakes off. So that would be my complaint. The pigmentation's great. Feels great. Looks great, but it doesn't really last, which is um, unfortunate. And now the lips are done. Sorry I didn't show you that part. I mean, you know how to put on lipstick. And I was running over time. But this is the Black Moon Cosmetics Purgatory. Great color, but it doesn't really last all that. Of course, I threw on some contacts. I've not worn contacts since I paper cut my eye uh, right before Thanksgiving. Who paper cuts their eye? I paper cut my eye at work. And boy, that was some pain. Let me tell you. It hurt like a bitch, but it's okay. So I haven't worn contacts since then because it's still, I'll wake up sometimes and it hurts. Uh, I can't remember where I got these from. It, I found them on Instagram. So if I remember, I'll let y'all know because they were cheap. They last a year. Uh, they don't hurt. They're easy to put in. I love them. Uh, goes great for the vampire spooky look. I think so anyway. So I will try to do an actual tutorial this is more of like a get ready with me um kind of a how i my routine of going out to scare the villagers or the store um it's really kind of whatever i'm in the mood for why not why not both so thank y'all for bearing with me and i'll see you next time stay spooky